Our reviews here at CNET can tell you a lot of things about any given piece of technology. How well it works, how long the battery lasts, how well it stacks up against the competition, and then we carefully box that product back up and send it back to the manufacturer, leaving one critical question unanswered. Will this product survive a drop from a moving car? And that's where Molly Wood comes in. In her show, Always On, Molly has subjected countless gadgets to her torture testing. Some take a licking and keep on ticking, while others crumble into an expensive pile of glass and microchips. I'm Donald Bell, and in this top five, we're counting down the five pieces of high-profile technology that flopped the hardest during the Always On torture test. Starting things off at number five, the iPhone 4S. Just because there was less screen back then didn't make the design any less fragile. And we had an ugly black bar running down the display of the 4S after just one drop. Granted, the glass never actually broke, even after repeated tosses down the stairs, but the fact that we crippled the screen right out of the gate is enough to put this bygone iPhone on the list. But at least the iPhone never really advertised itself as rugged. The same cannot be said for number four, the ThinkPad X1 Carbon. Now this is a great all-around machine and a four-star review from us, but if you're looking for a truly rugged laptop that can withstand scorching heat or the occasional cup of coffee on the keyboard, then the X1 is not for you. Molly didn't even get around to a drop test since the heat test pretty much toasted this thing. It's a fine computer, but not the tough guy you'd expect. Number three is another one that surprised us, the Samsung Galaxy S4. This is seen at its highest rated cell phone currently and the heir to one of the toughest cell phones around, the Galaxy S3. Now the S4 was undone by a hurl up a rock wall and then put to rest after being run over by a mountain bike. Now, personally, my active lifestyle is non-existent, so I wouldn't discount the S4 right away, but it's a shame that it doesn't seem as resilient as the S3. At number two, the Microsoft Surface. It was already looking pretty bad when Always On's Jeff Kanata spilled a glass of wine on the thing, but it was the drop test that really made me wince. To be fair, Jeff went over the top when he used the kickstand as a footrest, and maybe took things a little too far when he turned the whole thing into a functioning skateboard, but what's a torture test without a little humiliation? Now, before we get to the number one most breakable gadget as evidenced by the always on torture tests, go take a look at the top five toughest gadgets. Molly and the gang have a great roundup that you can find over at cnet.com slash always on. All right, and now the wimpiest gadget ever to appear on always on. The 2012 Google Nexus 7, the original, the $199 Android tablet that brought the industry to his knees also turned out to be a total cream puff. I've seen Christmas ornaments tougher than this thing. During the drop test, the back cover went flying and the glass shattered like a creme brulee. I can always tell I'm hungry when my metaphors are all desserts. Still, it was a great tablet, and for $199, it could have been made out of Legos and I still would have bought one. So there you go, five highly rated gadgets that you really shouldn't use without a case and an extended warranty. To witness more gadget abuse, be sure to tune in to Always On with Molly Wood each and every week. And for more top fives like this, top5.cnet.com. I'm Donald Bell, reminding you to hug your gadgets and hold them close. <laughs>